Hey there everyone, how new how this is Choquito and today I'm gonna take you to a slaughterhouse. But don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. Whew, let's get going. Okay, okay, to make this video more interesting, we're going to get there by scooter. Starting here at Chufu Road, we're going to ride along Sudro River towards the east up to the band, then north until the slaughterhouse. For my scooterless friends or those who do not know how to ride a bike, just take the metro, either line 10 or 4th to Highland Station. Sudro Creek is quite historic, so along the road you will bump into several important buildings and bridges, just like this here. Well, and not only historical sites. The slaughterhouse is located in Hong Kong, which is about 30 minutes ride either by metro or scooter from almost anywhere downtown. But again, I can't stress enough how much more are you going to enjoy getting there if you do it by bike, like me in the video. Just look at these ideal roads, man. Yeah, guys, so if you have the chance to come to Shanghai, you should definitely rent a scooter. As you can see, the, the road is beautiful, the streets are beautiful. The best way to explore. We're almost there, guys, but let me show you, that's the Pearl Tower over there. Can you see? As much as I wanted to keep riding my lovely scooter, we were getting closer. Besides, this video is about the slaughterhouse, right? Finally, guys, we have arrived. Yay! We finally arrived to the famous slaughterhouse. And as you can see, it was built in this gorgeous Art Deco style with Gothic elements. And I have no idea what those words mean. Built in 1933 by Chinese developers and designed by a British architect, this place was once the biggest slaughterhouse in Asia, but today its function has completely changed. It's actually not that scary, right? It's quite pretty. Yeah, so actually the slaughterhouse stopped slaughtering animals a long time ago and it became this commercial place. There's a lot of offices, there's a lot of shops, a lot of coffee shops, a lot of places and activities to do. It consists of four floors in a terrace, 26 bridges, spiral staircases, 300 columns, as well as four verandas. Oh man, so many numbers. Well, I mean, which animal wouldn't be scared of me? Although the slaughterhouse looks so messy and confusing, everything was planned in high detail. The reason why the floor is designed like this, with so many rocks and being very rough, so the cattle won't slip, because there were so many animals here, I think they could be around 1,200 or 1,300 animals at a time, so they could sleep very easily. And it was also made for human animals like me, not to fall down. Thank you. And just as you guys guessed, people come to this place mostly to take photos. So to all the influencers out there, you know where to go. This place is your place to shine. The reason why this place looks like such a mess and it's super confusing, like seriously, I'm completely lost right now, it's because uh, they made it in a way so that the cattle won't run away. And uh, trust me, it works. It works. Trust me, it really does work. I'm still trying to get out of there. The width of the corridors were also designed in a way that is super cramped and super small. This way was much easier for the slaughterhouse workers to keep all the animals together and avoid Lionel Messi situations. I mean messy situations. This place is really perfect for exploration lovers. So let's see what's up there and how far can we get. Let's discover this place together. Right now this door behind me is closed but it used to be open and you get a pretty nice view of the whole place and their balcony. But it's, it's not bad right now as well. The rooftop is used for growing plants and giving back some of the nature that was taken away while building this place. By the way, this place, the windows in this place were built with a Buddhist motif. All the windows point to the west. So when the cattle is slaughtered, they would be reincarnated. There is so many fascinating things about this place, making it so much more than just a beautiful construction. By the way, all of this concrete was taken from the UK. And uh, it was super hard to work with concrete back then, but um, they figured it out, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, it was all taken from the UK. My intuition is telling me that there is something else to be seen at this place. So let's see if I'm right or not. 
Wow. Oh my god. It's so pretty. I love terraces. It's something I looking for in Shanghai. It's wonderful. Oh, hello my scooter. Whew, so that was it guys. I hope you liked it and uh, let me know in the comments below what do you think and how does a slaughterhouse look where you live. Oh, mosquitoes. Well anyway, mosquitoes are kicking me out so that's it for me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.